everyone, welcome back to Guitar and Merch YouTube channel. Alright, today we're going to continue on with the tone matching presets uh, demo. Uh, we've been doing a lot of worship tutorials, uh, tone matching preset. Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to uh, have a shootout between the worship tutorials Benson Chimera and David Hislop's Benson Chimera. Okay, uh, this video is just to showcase uh, the tones from the different patches. Okay, it's very hard to compare two different patches when all uh, a lot of things are different, right? So just to quickly name a few things that on the top of my head that I know is different. So for example, uh, David Hislop is using a AC30 uh, M model, okay? Whereas the uh, Worship Tutorial is using, I believe it's a... Uh, let's just let me confirm. Okay, it's a, it's a Marshall, all right? A, a Brit P75 Bright. Okay, so on the start base platform, both are already using different uh, preamps, right? Okay, and then of course they go through their own system using their mics and all that to get the tone matching IR. Okay, so have that understanding first because the base preamp is already slightly different in character. Okay, so that's the first thing. Okay, the second thing is, uh, I believe the the reverbs used also are very different. Okay, his slope uses uh, a lot of glitz and some spring. Okay, whereas Worship Tutorial uses plate and dynamic hall. Okay, so the characters are different, right? And then we go to the drives. Okay, so I think uh, Worship Tutorial uses hair parent. Tube Screamer 808 and Timmy. Uh, I think the Hislop side uses um, a clone, Kinky Boost, and Timmy. So it's uh, pretty similar, uh, just the difference of the 808 and the Kinky Boost. Okay, the Hislop uh, compression is much higher as compared to the Worship Tutorials. Compression. So there are quite a quite a few things that is not the same. Even the the chorus, right? So uh, the chorus used in in his lop is is I think more of like a, a retro reel, right? Whereas the worship tutorial uses a let me see, huh? a dimension uh, modulation. So so it's very different. Uh, every parameter of selection, it's totally different. Okay, so it's very hard to uh, uh, kind of like pinpoint the winner, okay, because there's no winner in this case. But this video is just to showcase to you uh, how the tones are just side by side. Okay, so we're going to start off with uh, David Hislop's uh, Clean Snapshot, which has a little bit more uh, ambient ready. So this is how it sounds like. So the compression is pretty high, you can hear it. Uh, nice, lush backing. Okay, so if you want something slightly cleaner, you can actually go into the pre uh, storm mode and change the ambient, but I'm not going to change it right now. So I'm going to move on to the worship tutorial. So since it's a little bit more ambient, I'm going to choose the ambient clean now. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, going to the clean snapshot on the worship tutorial right now, so it's we don't care much ambient. <laughs> Slop's patch, and I'm going to change to spring reverb now. Okay, 
so straight away on the top, uh, you can hear that the characters are very different because the M owners are different, right? Uh, even though it's tone matched, but you can hear that the character of the AC30 and the Marshall is a little bit different. Okay, and uh, on the Hislop patch, you can hear a lot more compression, uh, which is good for bringing out your, your single notes. Okay, and uh, on the Worship Theodora side, you can hear that it's slightly fatter, uh, a bit more weightier. Okay, Hislop is a bit shinier. So, so it's, it's very different, right? But we're just going to play and, and let's see how things go. How, how things go. Okay, so let's go on to the drive uh, snapshot of the Hislop patch. So he added it in a clone for the first uh, stage kind of a, a snapshot. Okay, worship tutorial side. Okay, on the drive. Okay, you don't hear. You're gonna not gonna hear a lot of ambient. Okay, it's slightly cleaner, but he adds in a they add in a hair parent sound. Okay, so you see, uh, when I'm doing like single notes and all that, I think the hislops compression and all that really brings out uh, the line, the triads and all. Okay, but when I'm doing chords, it's a little bit held back because of the compression. Whereas the worship tutorial side is a little bit more open and uh, more open sound. So when you go for your chords and all that, it, it rings beautifully. So again, it's preference and what you usually play in church, right? So you can do your uh, adjustment even if you buy uh, his slot patch and you, you don't want so much compression, you can actually reduce. Okay, and you, or if you buy the worship tutorial patch, you can actually add a little bit more compression. So it, it's it's... There's no right or wrong, okay, it's just how it is. Okay, so let's go on. Uh, let's hear how the boost sounds like. So the boost is going to kick in a kinky boost. So I'm going to put on my neck pick up. <laughs> sounding than the previous snapshot okay so let's hear worship tutorials uh, second stage drive plus <laughs> Thank you. 
definitely more drive going on on the uh, second stage. Uh, we're kicking in the. Let's see, uh, so, for drive plus, uh, the hair apparent is being taken out and the Timmy is being used. Okay, definitely more, more, uh, much more gain going on. Okay, um, very good for your rhythm. You can even go to simple lead lines and stuff like that. Okay, so uh, back to the Hislop patch. Okay, let's check out the lead, no, right? Lead. No. comes out quite beautifully okay so let's try uh, worship tutorials praise and worship lead same <laughs> Here that uh, worship tutorials, praise and worship lead uh, kicks in the dynamic hall, uh, which then makes the lead sound uh, very huge with a lot of reverb. Okay, so this works well uh, depending on, on, on the scenario. So uh, we've got to be very careful with the amount of reverb going on, right? If it's too much, uh, it can actually uh, disturb the mix, right? So uh, I think the praise and worship lead on this patch is like slightly on the higher side so it'll be good to test out in, in your church and environment and see if it works well okay so uh two different sounds uh we actually have a pop lead here as well on the worship tutorial site where as the his slot patch does not have a pop quite surprising so i'm just going to play the pop lead for the worship tutorial <laughs> that's going on which is very very huge so uh, I think personally for me I would tame it down a little bit okay again it just works depending on your situation uh, but it does sound good okay so let's go on back to the hislop patch okay uh, well, let's try some maybe let's try the clean vibe okay so this clean vibe kicks on the retro reel <laughs> kind of uh, movement okay so this is the worship tutorials it is clean <laughs> okay, it's, it's not ambient -y, okay but it's it represents what it is it is clean <laughs> Okay, 
And uh, there's a couple of spring sound on his slot patch that's going to play through. So this is the toned down version of the uh, of the reverb on this patch. So he has a glitz and he has a spring. So it's pretty nice because we told, we don't want so much ambient all the time. So I think the spring works nicely. And he has some tram. sound okay and lastly is the ambient where he kicks in double glitz okay so let's check out the sound Let's go to the worship tutorial swell. Okay. Okay, so that's a very quick, uh, not quick, but that's a very, f uh, that's a comparison between both the his slop and uh, worship tutorials Benson Chimera. Okay, uh, like I said at the start, they are totally different, right? Because the preamps are different. Okay, the result, the character will be different. Okay, so if you're looking for a bit more chimier sound, okay, uh, his slop patch definitely is on that territory. If you're looking for a bit of beefier sound, right, the Worship Tutorials patch will be the one to go for, okay. Uh, general characteristics of the patch itself, his slop has a lot more ambient going on, okay, whereas Worship Tutorials is a little bit more of the, uh, uh, it's a bit dry in tone, uh, a bit more old school, uh, good, clean, uh, less of type of reverb, but good amount of drive and all that. So only when they kick on the, lead stuff then it gets very heavy in reverb okay which is nice uh again so it just boils down to what is your preference at the end of the day in terms of the modulation as well uh there's no right no wrong okay if you purchase both the patches i believe there are a lot of uh valuable lessons that you can actually pick up so don't don't just buy the patch and then just use it without understanding i think it's good to just go in and see how parameters are being set, uh, what delays are being used, how is it being used, uh, what modulation is selected, why this drive is selected, what kind of characteristics are the drive providing. Uh, all these are good lessons so that you will be able to tweak your sound uh, as the sound man requires. So if the sound man says, I need a little bit more highs, you know what to do. I need a little bit more drive, you know, you, you know what settings to change 
All right, so we hope this video is informative uh, on your purchase, on your next purchase. All right, if uh, if you can't decide, just get them both. Uh, it's not very expensive. It's like 30, 30 USD uh, and uh, definitely a lot of things to, nuggets of, nuggets of lessons that you can pick up from here. All right, so if you like this kind of video, do give us a good thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the latest video. Okay, take care. God bless. I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.